This is Lauren Bregitzer, author of Secrets of Recording. For this episode, we're going to automate a delay on a vocal line, and then we're going to take and add a radio effect to that delayed signal. Here's how the end result is going to sound. For this example, I'm going to listen to the vocal track and determine which phrases I want to add the delay to. For this example, I'm going to add the delay to the use me and use you and leave the other words undelayed. The easiest way to automate specific sections of an audio track is to separate the region exactly where you want the automation to take place. I'm going to solo the track and select exactly the use me phrase. Use me. Use me. The selected region can easily be separated by pressing Command E or Control E. I can use you. Use you. I'm going to continue to separate the region of the use me and use you phrases exactly like I did with the first one. Will you use me. Use me. When I use you. When I use you. Use you. Now I'm going to create the delay off of an unused bus here. So to start with, I'm going to create a send from that track to an unused bus. I'm going to option click that send so it goes all the way up to zero. And now I'm going to right click the send name from the edit window and name it something like bridge echo. Now I'm going to create the aux track that's going to have the delay on it. I'm going to create a new mono aux input track. I'm going to select the input of that track to be the bridge echo send that I just created from the vocal track. I'm going to command or control click on that solo button so that it makes it solo safe. Then I'm going to label that aux track as bridge echo. The next step is to create a delay across the insert of the aux track. I'm going to select the standard extra long delay too. If your song is locked to the bars and beats grid, you can simply click the half note button and it will adjust the delay time to match that of your song. Now I'll listen to the delay as it sounds across the vocal track without any automation added. Now I'm going to automate the track so it only delays the use me and use you that we separated out earlier. I'm going to switch the view of the track so it displays the send mute of the bridge echo that we created. The mute automation is shown to be at the top of the level, meaning that it's not muted. I'm going to mute the track and you'll see that the level jumps to the bottom, meaning it's muted. The automation process is now very simple. All I need to do is select the regions that we have separated by pressing the F7 button on my keyboard and double clicking inside the separated regions. Now I'm going to press the F6 key and that's going to switch to the trimmer tool. And now I can drag from the bottom to the top and this goes from muted to unmuted. I can just do this going back and forth between F7 and F6 and raising the mouse from down to up and that will automate these selected regions. Now let's listen back to the automated delay. Use 
you. I can now tidy up the regions that I have separated by going back and viewing the waveform, selecting across the entire selection that I edited, and going up to the edit window and selecting heal separation. This will fix any separations that I placed as long as there hasn't been any timing changes with the regions. You can see by viewing the send mutes that the automation is still there. Now I'm going to give the delayed signal a radio effect that you hear a lot of times in commercial recordings these days. I'm going to select DigiDesign's EQ3 7 band EQ as that gives me a high pass and low pass filter, which is what we're going to use to start with. The first thing you need to do is to turn on the high pass and low pass filters by clicking on the in button. I'm going to adjust the steepness of the curve by increasing the dB per octave for each of the high pass and low pass filters from 6 dB per octave to the maximum of this plugin at 24 dB per octave. A good starting point for a radio effect is about 300 Hz to 3000 Hz. I hope this video has been informative to you, and stay tuned for more promotional videos. If you are interested in learning more of these tips and techniques, go to secretsofrecording.com. There you can learn more information about the book, as well as the author.